into Animal Kingdom. Over here. Look at that tree. Pandora. She busy. It's 8.30 on the deck. Flight of Passage is like over an hour wait already. Park opened 30 minutes ago. I want to get a slushy from this place up here. I heard that they're like really cool. Oh. Really cool, good. Really cool, good. Stay that hotel. Um, they have clean beds. Oh. Eating or I drinking while stationary. Yes, they do not comply. Oh, yeah. No, they they cool. I guess they came out with their own. Clean your one. hands often and thoroughly. Yeah. Cover your mouth and nose when coughing and sneezing, and maintain oh, physical distancing. Thank you. Okay. the smallest of the African rhino species, weighing at about 3,000 pounds. They are endangered animals. They're being hunted for the horns on their heads. Now their horns are made up of keratin, just like our fingernails or our hair. Many believe their horns possess a healing power. They use them for medicinal use, but they're basically fingernails, so they have no use for us at all. Now they are solitary animals, so they do like to spend a lot of time on their own doing their own thing. They're not very social. Now they also have a pointed top lip that's gonna help them when they're foraging for food here in the forest as well popped up just in time to say hello. Now if you look over on your left hand side you can see a group of hippos and when they're in a group they're called a bloat. So there's a bloat. I think it's a suiting name for them. Now they don't really swim. They're going to walk or run along the bottom of the water. Now if they were on land and running they could outrun a human. Look there's one right right there. Right pretty close to us. And then there's one kind of following us. 
Now the birds on that island, those are pink back pelicans and they get their name from that pink coloration on their back and it can be more prominent during the mating season. Pink back pelicans are the smallest of the pelican species and they do have a wingspan up to about eight feet wide. Man, I wanna be a hippo. What a life. All right, now I do ask everyone to stay seated for me. but the official name is the baobab tree. Now it can be leafless for nine months out of the year, so that's why it looks like those are its roots. Those are not, those are its limbs. Now it also can survive a drought and it'll do so by storing water in its trunk. It can hold up to about 30,000 gallons of water in it. Now the inside is kind of like a sponge-like texture that's gonna help it to absorb all that water, but it also helps out animals. So during a drought, if they need water, they can actually pierce the tree and get water from it. Between that rock and those trees, see some African painted wild dogs. Now no two coats are the same for these dogs. That's actually how they identify each other. It's through the spots on their coats. No two coats are the same. Now they will not start their day until they say hello to each and every one of their members in their pack. They run in packs up to about 15 adults and they're run by an alpha male and an alpha female. Now they are top predators here on the savannah. They have about a 90% success rate. What makes them so successful is they're going to work together as a pack to take down their prey. They're going to run their prey till their prey can no longer run and just drop from exhaustion. Now they can run at speeds up to about 55 miles an hour as well. The Dazzle, it's one of my favorite group names for animals. It's very sassy. Now the Harmon Mountain Zebras are the only zebras that have this extra skin that hangs down from their neck. It's called a dewlap. That's going to help their blood circulate. It's going to help keep their bodies of Maasai giraffes. Now there's two different species of giraffes. There's Maasai and reticulated and the way you can tell the difference between the two is through their spots. Maasai are going to have jagged edges around their spots, kind of like those. And then reticulated have straight edges around their spots. Now giraffe, when they're born, they stand at about six feet tall. When they're fully grown, they can um, stand all the way up to about 20 feet tall. Now those really long necks that they have, they have seven vertebrae in their neck and so do we as humans. A little bit easier. No, giraffes only need about 30 minutes a day to sleep and they nap in five minute intervals. They stand up while they're napping so they can run away quickly from predators. And animals, those are springbok. Springbok gets their name from what they do. They spring about nine feet in the air standing still. They can spring forward about 14 feet. Then the gray animals there, those are white bearded wildebeest. Wildebeest are migrating animals and they migrate up to about a thousand miles over the course of a year. They also travel in really large herds. They couple up there. There's some under the rock. There's one underneath the trees. Now mandrels are the world's largest monkeys. The average male mandrel can weigh up to about 100 pounds. Mm -hmm. If you look over on the right hand side, you can see an African elephant. African elephants are the largest animals in the world. Now an African elephant can weigh up shaped like Africa. So that's how you can tell it's an African elephant. They're going to have bigger bodies and bigger ears when compared to an Asian elephant. Now Asian elephants ears are not shaped like Asia. Now it's not doing it right now but elephants will fan their ears back and forth kind of flap them. And that's going to help them to circulate their blood. Their ears are filled with tons of blood vessels so when they move them back and forth it helps circulate their blood and cool their bodies. Having a conversation and we would never even know. That one's fading its ears back and forth. There's a couple more baobab trees. There's two on your right and one on your left. Now elephants usually don't start growing their tusks until they're around the age of two. That one's tusks are barely coming in, so it's probably around the age of two or three. Now for African elephants, both male and female are going to grow tusks. Raider flamingo. They're the largest of the flamingo species, and they stand at about five feet tall. They're all saying hello. <laughs> now they do get that pink coloration from the beta carotene they get in their diet. They eat things like brine and shrimp, they give them the pink coloration. Man, they got a lot to say this morning. <laughs> now greater flamingo are the lightest pink of the flamingo species as well. When they're in a group, they are called a flamboyant. I like to be up high to kind of watch over the land, watch what's going on around them. There we go. I'm moving the shade some so you can see them better. 
Now cheetahs are the fastest land mammals. They can go zero to 60 in just three seconds. Now they can top out at a speed of about 70 miles an hour. They will use their tails to help them steer while they're running. Now even though they can run very fast, they cannot keep those speeds up long. They do tire up very quickly. Now they will do all their Now since they're nocturnal, they're gonna hunt at night. The females are the ones who actually go out and do the hunting. While the males stay back, they're gonna watch over the territory, over the cubs. You know, everybody loves a good stay at home dad. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. There's a male lion. Now the male lions are gonna be the ones with the mane that's gonna be all that fur around their head. And it can weigh up to about 30 pounds. That's a whole lot of fur. That's actually gonna help protect their neck when they're in a fight. Look at him, so majestic. Now a lion's roar can be heard from up to five miles away. I've been told you can hear it at Magic Kingdom, which is crazy since we're in Africa. If you look over on the right hand side, you can see a smaller brown animal that's a bontabak and then a, some white rhinos. Now bontabak are almost extinct. The only place you're really going to be able to see them is going to be on a reserve much like this one. Try to move somewhere that sun isn't so bright. There's two lionesses there. Now lions have the special padding on their paws that's going to help with traction. Also helps keep them quiet while they're out hunting. I know, I know. I know. Lions and cheetahs are endangered animals. They're being hunted for. So they dig burrows in the ground that you see there with their tusk and their feet. Now they will usually back into those burrows just so they can charge out quickly after predators. Now they can charge at speeds up to about 35 miles an hour. We'll talk about these rhinos on the right hand side. Now white rhinos weigh up to about 5,000 pounds. So they're going to be bigger than the black rhinos we saw. Now black rhinos, remember how I said that they're solitary, they kind of hang out on their own. White rhinos are very social and they're going to hang out with other groups of animals and they hang out in pretty big groups themselves and when they are in a group they're called a crash. Now they can charge at speeds up to about 35 miles an hour. When they are running they kind of trot like a horse and they're the only animals that can get all four of their feet off the ground at one time. Now, just like black rhinos, they are endangered. The more people know that their horns are made up of keratin, the less valuable it becomes. It's going to help save these animals' lives. These are ostriches here on the left-hand side. They are the world's largest birds. Now, even though they have those big wings, they cannot fly, but they can run very fast. They can run up to about 40 miles an hour. Now, those are females, and you can tell... <laughs> this thing is huge. It's bigger than my hand. And, um, yeah, they can get a breakfast sandwich, I believe. So... Looks good. You're going to be at the very first red. Okay. So go yeah. in or just stop on this circle? You want to find the other circle? Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know. It's our program. Soon, you're going to have a chance to undertake an amazing Navi rite of passage, flying on the back of this powerful animal called an Ikron, or as we call it, a Banshee. The way you're going to do this is by being matched to something called an Avatar. They're created by blending human DNA and Navi DNA. Once we match you to an Avatar, thanks to a special link chair, your mind will be able to control that Avatar. We have a friend coming! Thank <laughs> you.